up grabby peeps it's Del from Inky Quill and I'm here with a bit of a late video so this is a Q&A series that I asked possibly six months ago and I haven't filmed it but I got really sick with the pregnancy so I didn't film any face-to-face -face videos so I thought I'd film this Q&A series that will go over the next couple of months or so and every now and then just shoot a quick like six minute video with some questions from you guys that I asked for ages ago. So I've separated it into different sections. So this first one's just general scrapbooking. I have a section on supplies, one on mixed media, I think, and then a miscellaneous question with some bunnies and other crafts and all sorts of things in there. So join me as we go on a bit of a quick Q&A adventure. I'm going to put the questions down here so I don't have to read them out because some of them are a bit long. Um, but I just want to say a huge thank you for all your questions. I got inundated with so many. Um, I hope I've picked them all. If I haven't answered a question that you either asked or that you're still wondering, wait until I've done all of the parts. It should have here in the title what part this is. Um, and then at the end in the last video, I'll ask for more questions and we can do a bit of a recurring series every now and then So without further ado Oh, by the way, baby Tombs isn't born yet. He's still on my belly. I'll show you a bump afterwards, but um, I'm trying to get ahead with some videos for you guys while I start motherhood at the end of March and I lose sleep and sanity and brain function and all of those fun things that you need to keep up with YouTube. So that's why I'm filming these videos a bit in advance. So let's get started. I've got my notes. I'm ready to go. We'll see how many tangents I can go, I can go on. Oh dear. So the first one, how did you start and can you show us your first album? So um, my first album flip throughs are actually on my channel. So if you search for... I put them up last year sometime. If you search for Project Life 2013, I think there's about three or four flip through videos, so you can see there. I started with Project Life in August, I think, of 2013. Um, I saw, I think I started because I went to Spotlight and I saw the Project Life core kits and I was curious as to what they were because I hadn't scrapbooked before I did I did an album in high school but it was nah. <laughs> um, but I had I always just looked at all the pretty papers and I often found an excuse to buy a piece of scrapbook paper that I was never going to use but I just liked the look of it um, but yeah I saw the core kits went home and watched some videos from the Becky Higgins website liked the look of it bought a core kit then bought 50 million more core kits if you're starting out with project life don't buy all the core kits it's very tempting aaron's messaging me cheeky thing um it's very tempting to buy all the core kits don't do it you'll get inundated with cards there's so many cards just pick maybe one or some of the they come in smaller packs now the value kits which they didn't have when i started out but don't buy them all so i started with project life and that was about three or four months before we got married which was nice because we could document you know all the diy that i did for the wedding um and then i started i started traditional 12 by 12 layouts on holiday with Aaron's dad's family who live quite a few hours away and I got a spotlight voucher for Christmas because <laughs> they know me well um, and my stepmother-in-law and I went to spotlight because she loves spotlight too and I bought all the things and I didn't want to buy more cards because I already had too many so I thought I'd try and do 12 by 12 and Aaron had bought me a um, picture mate photo printer so I had that with me while we were on holiday so I just started and then last was it last year last yeah 2016 was the first year that I did 9 by 12 and I love it I love that size and it was the first year that I combined project life and 
layouts in one album. So yeah, that's how I got started. So yes, make sure you have a look for um, the 2013 Project Life flip throughs on my channel if you want to have a look at my first albums. How long have you been a scrapbooker? So I think I just answered that. So Project Life from about August 2013 traditional layouts I think it was January 2015 I think or the very end of December but we'll go January 2015 for sure um, do you do any other crafts I well if you don't follow me on my second channel let's get inky you might not know that I do art journaling so I do art journaling I do normal journaling I paint I like to paint big giant canvases which is where the name inky quill came from I think I've talked about that in a video before but my um, I may have borrowed a quill from my <laughs> high school art room um, because I was the art nerd at high school I I always came first in art and photography and I was known as the art nerd I have I should do that I should do a flip through of my art high school books That'd be good. They're at mum and dad's. Remind me, I'll have to do that. But um, I may have borrowed a quill from school and taken it home to work on my year 12 HSC, which is our end of like our big, big project, um, and really liked it. So I used to outline my paintings um, with black ink using the quill. So that's how I got the name Inky Quill because originally Aaron made, this is a tangent, we're on a tangent now, get on the boat, because boat, why, of all vehicles, why would I pick a boat? Get in the car, let's drive on this tangent road. Um, Aaron made me a website for Inky Quill about six years ago because I had a art exhibition at a local cafe um, and I needed a a website to put my artworks up that I was selling um, and so we named it Inky Quill because the paintings had Inky Quilling um, around the outside so that's where the name came off and then when I wanted to start a YouTube channel I already had that website we were already paying the domain fees and he'd already set it up so I just went with the name Inky Quill that's tangent but fun fact next question what got you started in scrapbooking? I've answered that one. Is there a product you absolutely hate? Oh, hate's a strong word. I could never hate any paper supplies. <laughs> I think I think I have a dislike for buttons. Buttons and I just don't get along. I don't hate them. I like buttons, they're handy. But I don't use them in scrapbooking. So I'd say buttons and maybe maybe ribbon buttons and ribbon possibly yeah but I don't hate them just just avoid them <laughs> um, where do you get inspiration for your scrapbook layouts I I love Pinterest freaking love Pinterest and I have to be better at Pinteresting but I'm very lazy when it comes to putting my own stuff on Pinterest so I should get I, I need to I need to do that um, but I'd say Pinterest um, often just the photo itself so if I'm doing a photo that's got like red in it for example I might look at my most recent products that I've bought that I'm obsessing over at the moment and go what in this is red there's a red flower let's do a florally red layout what color goes with red you know pinky maroon tones let's do a pinky maroon background with this red flower embellishment and this photo so I kind of I look at the photo for a lot of inspiration um, or if it's a photo that maybe like if the person's looking off to the side like <laughs> not in a creepy way like that but in a normal person way um, then I'm that will give me inspiration for where to put the photo on my page because I want them looking into the page and not out of the page um, but yeah I'd say Pinterest YouTube I watch a lot of YouTube too much YouTube sometimes um, Aaron and I don't actually have a normal television plugged in so we don't get normal TV everything we watch is either through 
YouTube or Netflix or Stan. Um, so quite often I'm doing the housework and I've just got YouTube on in the background. Um, so I'd say I get my inspiration probably from Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram's another great one. Um, art, I just love looking at art and getting colour inspiration from that. Yeah, that's where I get it from. I want to keep these to 10 minutes or under, so I'm going to stop this one here. This is the first of many parts. So thanks for joining in today, guys, and I'll see you all with the next video. I'm hoping to do them maybe, maybe every two weeks or so. I'll just slip a little one in. Um, but I always have a process video on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and one of them's a... Can you hear that? The bunnies. Mm, this is a good time to stop because they're getting, I think they've gotten into the laundry. So I'm hoping to do them every two weeks or so, um, but I have a, pro a project life and a layout video every week. Um, and make sure that you also follow me over on Let's Get Inky if you like arty kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! so hot <laughs> studio lights and summer are very hot so I'm sitting on the floor in front of the fan it's really nice but I don't think you'll be able to hear me or deal with a video where I'm doing this and there are flip throughs already on my channel for my 2013 the baby brain the brain is not working <laughs> search for um 2013 project life what is with that glare look at how pale i am hmm that's gonna be an issue isn't it wow i'm the same color as the calyx unit the expedite from ikea uh, so Oh, it started raining too. Okay, light's coming back. Light's coming back. Let's see if this works. Okay, so there's already flip... <sighs> ah, ah, ah. Bookcases are not for biting. Frida! Ah, 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 ah. Okay, Dill. You have to turn off the fan now. No. But I don't want to. Especially before this guy arrives. Oh, this glare! Ah, the glare! I think I'm gonna have to close the blind because that's just. I'm just like a pair of eyeballs floating. If my hair was white, we'd be in real trouble. Alright, I'm gonna close the blind. Okay. Time to turn off the fan, get back to work. Before you get too breathless and need to go to the bathroom for the 50 millionth time today. <laughs> <laughs>